Thank you, Chair. And let me start straight away by congratulating both Vice Presidents. I went through the strategy. I spoke to both of you and I have to say I am satisfied that for the first time ever we're looking at the issue in a holistic perspective. It could be that I come from an island in the middle of, of the Mediterranean and that makes me much, much more aware on the environmental and health problems that plastic waste brings along with it. And I think this is our opportunity to actually make sure that we put environment on the forefront, but also make sure that we get industry on board. We need to make sure that we remain competitive and we do not let other continents run in front of us in the competitiveness sector. And this is our opportunity because people are aware of the impact that plastic has, not only on our environment, but also on our health. I have to be honest with you. I was quite shocked listening to the fact that microplastics is not ending only on our seabed, it's not ending only on the fish that we eat, but it is also in the air we breathe. So much if it is a complex issue and so much it is um, a problem that we need to address sooner rather than later. I spoke to both of you, I said, um, and if I may, as a final point, I would like to commit you on something because I've heard some of the concerns that were raised. And you promised when we spoke about a ban on microplastics um, where it is included on purpose, like when we're speaking about detergents and also cosmetics. You spoke about a legislation when it comes to single use of plastics and we will keep you to that word and we hope that we will see it by May as much as we want to make sure that we have progress on another legislative proposal from your end to make sure that waste comes into our ports.